Surprise, motherfuckers! I still remember some of my combat training. Is there a reason why I'm taking this companion along? Didn't I max out his affection? Ah, wait a minute, never mind. Didn't I re redo the whole affection system? Now it's like something brand new and something more tedious. Uh, abilities, chapters, companions, and contacts. Yeah, you can go up to 50 now. Well, you're the highest in my list. Did I get like all the dial? Ah, he wants to talk again. All right, we'll do that here. More kind of done with boss. On Sleeping Beauty. There you go. Ran Viemoni, O Vabaka, Vihu Troy, Quatu Fulam. Nay, so fond, dear, go Nadaneva, Eyak, Nanimatan. I am supposed to go to the Nightmare Lands and use a rock. Dream walking is what you do when you use the Voss corruption to walk in your dreams. I'll take your advice to heart, but I need this ritual. My lord, Rule Jokin here, Imperial Diplomatic Service. Atelis Callis tells me you're working with the Gormak. Anything to stop them from shooting our people on sight, eh? You didn't call me just to congratulate me on my choice of allies. Ah, well, nothing gets by you, does it? When it comes to the Gormak, the Voss aren't very understanding. They wouldn't even allow us to keep one for research here on the station. The point is, be careful. When it comes to the Gormak, you never know. I will keep that in mind. Thank you. Good luck, my lord. And thank you for your time. Okay, that's kind of a little bit awkward and weird. Anything else in this area? 
just in the top list, settling a score. Uh, probably quicker, yeah, I'm just quicker off there by quick traveling. Why is there no icon to show where I'm at? Oh my god, does it not like auto... I could have sworn I updated it, so yeah, I have that outpost automatically. Yeah, outpost skyline, or something like that. Yeah. Weird. They used to have an icon, though, next to wherever you were on the map to indicate where you were at. Not anymore, I guess. That's definitely weird. Light side grows stronger. See, I can join the dark side, which is really, really weird. Because uh, when I join, uh, well, not join. Uh, when I log into my light side character, he gets the dark side choice only. Like, why am I only getting the dark side? I don't want to help the dark side. My Sif Inquisitor is even dark. He's like, good slash neutral, occasionally, well, he's neutral. He's, nah, he's a bit above neutral. I would say he's like between neutral and good. Because he does do a few bad things here and there. But it's because, well, he has to do some bad things for the greater good. I do like the new cartel market icon. It's much better than the way it was originally. Originally, it was just kind of in your face and didn't suit the interface. I think that might... I think that might be the reason why the game runs better. It's because, uh, originally the interface actually sucked up, like, I think 30% of the performance. Which was ridiculous. Like, no interface should ever, 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 ever use that much performance. But, because they were using an alpha or beta version of the gear engine. And they had to pretty much finish up the engine themselves and use a lot of custom coding to get to make the game they want to make. That's why it wasn't running so smooth. But since they had years now to work on this custom engine of theirs, they are definitely getting there where they're improving visuals, performance. And honestly, I think they really need to bring us that for consoles. I could see this running at, at the max settings that I'm running at right now. Well, I'm running this at max settings at 1080p right now. And I got an HD 7870. It's basically the graphics card in the PS4. So, if I can run at max settings at 1080p, and I have a graphics card that's just as good as the PS4's graphics card, the PS4 should be able to do that too. And with Xbox One, they probably have to dump it down to like 900p or 720p. I think more like it's probably going to be around 900p. But then again, I think at the place, even then I realize my frames do drop down to like for 25 to 30 frames when I do raids of 16 people. Like if it's 8 people, it's like 60, but when it comes to like 16 people, it does drop down there. So I think probably, oh, uh, again, it's a co console usually lock at 30 FPS, so actually it's going to be fine at 1080p. go. Nah, still miss this one part to have this whole map discovered. We'll fix that here in just an iffy. Oop. Dude, I just realized this jetpack actually goes along with my armor pretty well. Since my armor is already like kind of goldish with some of the black and purple. Alright, that should do it. That's where you summon the world boss, which we're obviously not going to be doing unless we want to get our ass kicked. Alright, let's head in there. Like, there are some world bosses I can't, so... Actually, I don't think I can sum, uh, solo any of the world bosses anymore, because I think they all scale to your... Yeah, they all scale to your level. That's right, it's some new shit. You can't do that solo anymore. Oh, that's right, forgot about that. It sucks. I should let you toggle that on and off. Like, they should only have the level scaling if you plan on still wanting to level up 
on certain planets and level friends are lower levels. Don't force that shot onto you if you're like super high level. So my companion are fun. Oh, I see a Jedi. Oh no you don't. You do not use a self heal on you. Don't you dare think about that bitch. You're 900 years too young to use that. Now, what's this achievement for? Defeat 10 Republic soldiers and boss. So you can tell is my first uh, first Sith character on Voss. Well, it's not Sith, Imperial character. Yo, Jedi! That's how you own a Jedi. out of the way. Alright, we need one more general. I'm sure we're going to find him right over here. Let's see if I can avoid that. Probably not. Come on. Jump. Aha! I avoided her. Like a boss. Thank you for that. All right, and we're done with this quest. Turn our quests in. I found these while I was clearing out the Jedi outpost. This looks like part of the Jedi's defensive strategy for Voss. I'll get this to my superiors immediately. Between these plans and annihilating their base, you've struck a real blow against the Jedi. They'll be too busy trying to rebuild to interfere much with our truce with the Voss. Nice work. Any responsible citizen could see the Jedi were a threat. They'll be less of a concern now, thanks to you. Explosion shook the ground. The Gormak surely know their ship will never fly. Now is our chance to strike a Jokul, their leader. I have sent a strike team ahead. They will need your help. 
Jokel retreated to his stronghold. He has taken some of our wounded with him. Are they hostages? Can Gormak even negotiate? We don't know. This has never happened before. My second, Kotalde, will join your assault inside. I still wonder when they're gonna make uh, the Voss characters a playable species. Cause they look just dope, I just love their fucking eyes. Alright, ah, oh, lord in heaven, there's an art cluster. Mission terminal. Just when you think you're almost done, please be heroics, please be heroics, I can just ignore them. Oh, you son of a... <laughs> of course, all the way back down there. No, no, no. Ah, fuck it. Let's do those real quick since we're probably done with this area. Don't know why they couldn't have just given me those quests beforehand when I was down there, but whatever. Please tell me it's not, it's not up there good. Up, up. You'd think they'd die the moment I blow up the tower instead of, you know, coming down after the tower's been blown up. That kind of makes no sense. Besides, you know, this quest dragging on for a little bit longer. Don't aggro, don't aggro, don't aggro. Oh, come on. Give me a break, guys. I think they improved the textures on the monsters or two. Because I think they all have been added into the cartel market, so I think they were forced to kind of, you know, redo the textures since they're constantly going to have one following you around and helping you out. Which is neat. I mean, it sucks that that's the only way they'll actually improve something if they actually are forced to improve it if they start selling it. There won't be a way up there. Gotta go all the way around. It 
Speeder, speeder, speeder. Welcome. Please select an available travel route. Have a safe and pleasant stay. Boy, in our mission terminal. Ah, oh, it's a rock. Alright, we can ignore that. We can ignore that. Ah, uh, oh, wow, it's all the way down there, and there's another quest giver there. Why? Just why? Even though it looks like it's locked. Is that locked away? Let's find out. It's not like glowing or anything, so I think that's not available until I finish the main storyline. Or nope, no, never mind. I'm wrong. You should not be here. The dark power in this place will shatter your mind into a thousand pieces. It takes hours of meditation every day for me to keep my mind intact. Clearly you could put those hours to better use. I will harness the power here, and with it, I will bring the galaxy to its knees for the Emperor. Then I shall. Who are you? What do you want? You were telling me about the tomb in the Dark Heart. I... wait. I remember now. Yes. You can serve my research. I'll send you into the Dark Heart. Yes. I pulled this shard from the belly of the Dark Heart. Madness calls to it. There are two ways to defend your mind. Carry it with you while you carve a path of destruction through the denizens of the Nightmare Lands. I hope you plan to elaborate. The hatred and agony of your victims will charge the shard. Then you must channel the shard's power into a Varanticus. The Varanticus will become an embodiment of madness. Killing it will grant you mastery over that aspect of the Dark Power. Tell me what to do. If you're concerned, there is an alternative. There are shrines in the Nightmare Lands. Jedi in origin. There you could draw out and destroy the madness within the Shard. Not as elegant a solution, but it should work. So, will you slaughter beasts or seek the shrines? I'll take my chances with the Jedi runes. Hmm. Possible. You should still yield some data, I suppose. Return to me when you're finished. I will make sure the protective ritual is complete. Yeah, I guess clearly nuts. Sell some of my old stuff here. Got lots of junk to sell. I've got the best hardware and the best prices. Okay. Good hunting. <laughs> 